Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the star spirits and good wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there is a haven where stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully. Very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the... Who said that weird thing to the story? Ha 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 ha, yeah, I did. Ha 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 ha. So I can, at long last, beat my rival, Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koopa. And all the spirits are like, oh crap, oh crap, what's happening? Oh god, this is terrible. What's happening? No, you mustn't do that. Yeah! Now let's try using it! Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! Bwahaha! <laughs> we did it! That was a piece of cake! Bwahaha! <laughs> well... Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? Hey everybody! Welcome to Opacat's YouTube channel! I'm doing a let's play of Paper Mario! I love this game. Let's take a little bit of a preview as to what's gonna be in the game right here. So if you're familiar with Paper Mario, this is the second RPG entry in the Mario series. This is the first actual Paper Mario game in the franchise. It's one of the best games I've played. I still feel like the sequel came that came after this is better, but I'll, I'll play that eventually, sometime after this game. You get a series of uh, partners that you can have throughout your journey. Turn-based combat, you know, general RPG stuff. But let's let's go back into the uh, back to the title screen and let's start a new file today. So as you see, I've already played this game once before. It was probably four years ago at least. But I'm I'm just gonna start a new file. I'll probably name it the same thing this time because it doesn't really matter because they're just gonna use the name Mario throughout. Uh, Upper Cat. And yes, that is my name. Don't sweat it. So, let's get started playing Paper Mario. Woohoo! So, that would be the Mario house. Mail call. It's a Luigi. How you doing, brother? Hey Mario, you got a letter from the Princess Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? All right, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm just doing what Mario and Luigi would sound like within the game. Not trying to make fun of Italians. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. She's saying sincerely, Peach, instead of love, Peach. 
Peach has obviously been friend zoning Mario and Luigi for years and years. So, in case you're wondering, I am actually playing this game on the Wii as a virtual console download. So, this is not an emulator. Just letting you know that right now. I legally bought this game on the Wii as a virtual console download. So, it might not be as good quality as an emulator, but at least it's legit. What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks a lot like us already here. So now I can move around! Awesome! Let's talk to some toads. I've been practicing my toad voice, so hopefully it's okay. Um, I don't want to speak in a toad voice too long because it hurts my throat after a while. Mario! You're looking well! Please enjoy the party, okay? I'm probably not gonna do that a whole lot. But if you played Super Mario 64, the layout might look similar. This doesn't seem to open. Oh, I can go in here though. This would be the kitchen. Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm tasty. Get it? Do, do, do you get it? I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. I made all of my most delicious dishes. But, oh dear. I got so into my cooking that I used up all my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping. Well, doesn't that suck? I don't like grocery shopping either, but it's kind of one of the things you have to do when as an adult. I've been practicing cooking. I hope that someday I get good enough to cook food as delicious as Tasty's. Do you know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn. Personally, I think cooking is exceptionally fun. I don't like cooking. I'm the complete opposite. I pretty much don't cook unless it's like a special occasion. Or if it's something really simple that all I have to do is boil water and put stuff in. Then it's like super easy that way. Here's some Toad Twins. Oh, welcome, Mario. The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Where is she? I want to see her. Please let me see her. Oh, you can kind of see the, uh... The... Where the lines are not meeting properly. But like I said, this is on the Wii Virtual Console. I'll prove it. Here. Press the home button. See? It's legit. Oop. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I didn't do anything. Okay, well, it's back. I was wondering if I accidentally pressed the reset button. Wow! I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place! I'll bet you can hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Please don't make me speak in that voice anymore. Let's go outside, or not. Mario, where are you going? The princess is expecting us. You'd better hurry and at least say hello. Except I think I need to speak a little bit lower. Hello! I already speak pretty low for a, a woman anyway, so... Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Princess Peach's... Peach's castle forever. I'm sorry, I can't read today. I don't care about you, Toad. You're just, you're just a lonely guard. Um, this, this Toad looks important. Let's talk to him. Greetings, Mario. I am the minister of, the, of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you are here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Well, I've got some news for you, dude. I'm here on behalf of lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frosty. Get it? A lot of toad names are uh, play plays on real words that end in T. T Frosty, tasty... Ni nice tea? No, that's not a word. What am I saying? 
I don't care about the majority of these toads. This is Pinch's Pitch's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in, he in here at the moment. Well, that sucks. Where is she? This looks like a toad with a turban. Toad Outpost, Shiver Region, Koopa Village. So many folks here, I can't keep track of them all. Oh, you're Mario? How do you not know who Mario is? What is wrong with you, Toad? Wow. D do you not know who I am? Do you know of a place called Shooting Star Summit? It's near the castle. It's such a romantic place. It's definitely the best place for a date. Trust me. Maybe I ought to, you know, ask the princess to go there. Ooh, he is insinuating something there. Please? Let me in. No. Alright, let's not wasting time and let's just go upstairs more. And like, I can do this. What do you have to say, Toad? It's nice and quiet here with no guests around. Ah, so pleasant. Oh god, I don't like doing that voice. So I can uh, press the R button. I'm playing on a GameCube controller right now because this is the Wii. So I can press uh, the uh, actually the L button to do that. And then A to jump. I don't have anything else I can do. Pressing start doesn't do anything. No other buttons work right now. Except for the this one and the A button. That's all that work right now. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. Thanks, Toad. Ah, oh, it's so quiet up here. Isn't this peaceful? And... Giant window, and hey look, it's Peach! And she's almost a redhead in this game. Oh, Mario. You came to the party to see me? You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will, will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, uh, you, you see that checker pattern where it's like shaking? Oh well. I'm, I'm using a, uh, a box that converts composite signal into HDMI. Oh crap! What the hell is happening here? Ah! Run away! Run away! Run away! We are legit up in the sky right now. Being parachuted by Bowser's castle right underneath. Also... What came first, Princess Peach's castle or Bowser's castle? Oh, are you all right, Mario? What in the world was that? <gasps> oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. They're legit in space right now. You have to go pretty freaking high up in the air for it to be like high noon and then suddenly it's dark. They, they gotta be like a couple miles up in the sky right now. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle right now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! This castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you obey me! Mario's like, nope, you're not gonna touch her. Huh? What? It's Mario? What a shock. I can't do a good Bowser voice, I'm sorry. This is the best I can do. I can't get any lower than that. Ha, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. 
Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you just give up already? Yeah, she knows how to tell him straight. True, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy. Let's go. Oh crap, we're fighting Bowser, legit style. Mario, you can do it! So... Yeah, we're seeing, you know, what I can do. Basically, all I can do is jump right now. I have 10 heart points, 5 flower points, 0 star points, and 0 coins right now. Because it's the, literally the beginning of the game. All I can do is jump on Bowser. And then he will attack me. Do one hit each. It's fine. I just need to do that ten times. It's fine. This is the most exciting battle in the entire game. Good old Mario. Always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this! Look what I stole from Star Haven! It's the Star Rod! This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario! Ooh, it's a shiny Bowser. Can I catch it in a Pokeball? It's gonna be worth a lot of points. Never mind. Uh, How do you like that, Mario? Oh crap, now he's doing three hearts of damage. So then if I get five uh, hit points left, I get into danger. So that kind of sucks. Is that all you've got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, cause that didn't hurt at all. Yeah... He's kicking my ass right now. I can't hurt Bowser at all because he made himself invincible with the star rod he stole. Which we saw earlier in the opening cutscene. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Okay. Well, he set me on fire. And he killed me right away. I don't know why he didn't use the fire in the first place, because that would have killed me. Oh no, Mario, get up. Yes, oh yeah, I did it! I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Because I have like 10 heart points, dude. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Ain't no stopping us now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Okay, so he set me on fire, and then he struck lightning on me, and I'm gonna fall like freaking 20 miles to the ground. Oh no, Mario! I couldn't hold anymore, I'm sorry. Oh look, he's like flipping like that because he's made of paper or something. Paper Mario! Yep, that's the game we're playing right now. The prologue, a plea from the stars. But we're gonna go ahead and get on with the prologue in the next episode. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time.